Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. This is a brief video to show you how to find area under the curve or a z-score in StatCrunch. I'm going to walk top the steps and then I'll show you a couple of examples. Click on Stat when you're in StatCrunch, then Calculators, then Normal. And then you want to enter your mean and standard deviation. The default is 0 and 1, but if you don't have a standard normal distribution, that's fine. You can enter what your mean and standard deviation is. Click on standard if you have a greater than, equal to, or less than, equal to, and that's the default. Um, or click on between if you want to find the area between two values. And then you just enter the given value to find the unknown. And the unknown is either going to be the z-score or the area. And I've shown down here in the boxes what, which one is which. But those labels do not appear when you're in StatCrunch. Make sure you have correctly chosen less than or equal to or greater than or equal to and then hit compute. So let's see an example of this in StatCrunch. So um, when I pull up StatCrunch, this is what I'm going to get. It's going to show you the curve, which is nice. It automatically defaults to standard, which is, which is going to be um, less than and greater than problems. And the standard deviation and mean are set to 0 and 1 or one zero, excuse me, and then um, let's say that I know I want to find the area under a curve, what the z-score would be, and the z-scores are shown here, but if I want to, if I say the area that I know is 0.1254, and I want to know everything less than that, I hit compute, and it's going to show me if my area is 0.1254, then my z-score corresponding to that would be negative 1.15 about and that's for everything less than. If I wanted to know everything to the right, I would click on greater than or equal to, and it would show me I have the same z-score, but that would be a different area, right? So if I had a picture that showed the area shaded to the right, I'd want to make sure and use the greater than or equal to. Let's say that I wanted to find something between. It defaults to negative 1 and positive 1 standard deviation, but let's say that I want to go to negative 1.25, Oops. and up to positive um, 0 0.48 and then I have my mean and standard deviation in there I hit compute and it's going to tell me the area under those two z-scores so you know negative 1.25 is here and 0 0.48 is there and the area between those two is given here so that's it pretty easy to use have a fantastic day and we'll see you next time